Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> you weren't supposed to see that. Let's just act like it didn't happen, right? Anyways, how's it going, YouTube? Today I've come to talk to you about the future. Now, um, I will be getting a job at Harvey soon, and they will be paying seven fifty, I believe. So I can start working towards that fourteen grand. Fourteen grand? What do you mean? Well, the program I'm using, YFU, Youth for Understanding only requires $14,000 or 13900 and something to be exact to um, send you to Japan for a whole school gap year. Wow. Not sponsored, by the way. Um, that's the program I'm using. My mom also works at Harvey's. She's getting paid ten fifty, but... And come August, we're going to be moving to California. Now, I know you're probably wondering, well... Why would you move to California when you're trying to save up 14 grand? Well, let me explain. So, um, it costs 14 grand, right? Yeah, so, um, when we move to California, we have a friend who's going to help us fund the U-Haul. So he's going to pay for the U-Haul for us and also help us out with our rent for the first uh, two weeks. Um... When we get there, the minimum wage is twelve dollars an hour, man. That's like way more than seven fifty. You know what I'm talking about? So, with that much money, fourteen grand should come no time. Hopefully, as long as we don't waste our money. But we're not dumb like that, are we? But um, yeah, so that's that's basically what we're gonna do. Move to California, make that moolah. 14 grand will be on our way now I also have a pair of glasses coming in in two weeks so yeah I'm blind I can't see nothing but I will have glasses eventually like two weeks actually I'll make another video to show you what I look like with glasses um, so the other day I went walking around a Goodwill yeah Goodwill. That's where all the rich people go, right? Um, and I ran into these Jap this Japanese stuff, which is pretty interesting considering it's America, and that should explain it all. So it was cool running into um, these Japanese items. Now here we have the sake class. Pretty cool, right? I don't drink because I'm not 21, so don't call a cop on me, okay? So we're gonna get put this out of the way. And then we have a scroll. Now this scroll has Chinese and Japanese on it, but I can't really tell what it is or what it says. So if you're one of those smart kids in the comments, please tell me what it means. But anyways, let's, get, let's have a look at it. Pretty dope, right? If you can read that, please tell me in the comments because I really want to know what it says. This is going to go up in my room. <laughs> now, time for the bad wrapping skills. As you guys don't know because I've told you yet, ooh, I've been studying Japanese for about two years, man. Two years. Now, I've been lazy in those two years, and I probably haven't learned as much as I should have, but I do know a little bit. Which brings me to the Japanese word of the day. We're going to start off with something light and say, Kamoa. Now, Kamoa means good evening. Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? Oh, good evening. So, in the morning, in the a.m., you say, Oh, hayo gozaimasu, which means, good morning. In the afternoon, around lunchtime, per se, you would say, konnichiwa. Yeah, everyone knows that, right? And then, at 
noon, around dinner time, it's when you start saying kamoa, yeah? So kamoa means good evening. So that is your Japanese word of the day. Now I'm gonna show you some of the words I wrote down, like last week, and I'm still trying to remember. It's just some kanji and some hiragana, and I also have the English right next to it. So I'll show you that here in a second. As you guys can see, this is some of the kanji and other things I've written down, all beginner stuff, like elementary school words. Like here we have suchi, which means earth. So I drew a picture of an earth to help me remember. We got heat, which means fire. We have yaku, which means 100. Someone said I wrote this wrong because this is supposed to be tiny and I wrote it too big. So I will be fixing that. And we have kane, which is gold. Mizu for water. Um, we have sen for before or ahead and all of these different phrases guys this is just what I've been working for so this is namae more for short na which equals na name which equals Caleb because you know my name's Caleb but um yeah this is basically the beginner Japanese I've been studying. I know. Pretty awesome, right? Well, guys, that's all I had for you today. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I could really use it. I'm trying to get big on this. I promise you guys I'm going to get better as I go. But um, thank you. I'm doing my best. And peace out.